Let's talk about Evan Longoria because he's one of your former teammates. So let's check this out here. Longo is a guy who has been doing some things this year, okay? When you look at his numbers from a year ago to this year, I mean, he is hitting the ball with some serious force right now. The Giants, for their part, have been a surprise team. And listen, StatCast, going back a few years here, but 113.2 miles an hour, that means Longoria's hitting that with some serious velocity. And Jace Tingler said the Giants are a sneaky good team. Giants are taking the Padres tonight. And speaking of sneaky good, look at Longoria the last couple of seasons. Last year clearly struggled. Okay, we got that. A sub 300 uh, on base percentage, 425 slug. Those numbers have jumped up huge. Again, former teammate Lowe, so you know him. What's the difference you're seeing with Longo? Goodness, uh, look, this guy is a true professional. From the moment he entered, he came to the major leagues when we were over there in Tampa at the Dawson 8. I'm like, one of the world. Are you the veteran or am I the rookie? How does this work? Because he looks so polished already and he had a monster season. This was his rookie of the year season. We went all the way to the World Series and he was a huge part of the reason why we were able to get there. And right there we got to celebrate some great moments. It was awesome to go to this tape and relive them, okay? So I am getting, ind I'm indulging here as I'm speaking, okay? This is me scoring, by the way. <laughs> Nothing Safe. wrong with indulgence of good memories, boom. Speeding, man, and right here going placada. And we did this back to back over there in Fenway Park. This was an unbelievable game. Here goes Longo going placada, back to back, right after me. He was such a force in that lineup. So consistent, incredibly impressive. And this one right here, game five, he tied, you know, he drove the end right here. We tied, ended up tying this ball game later on. And that's the epic game that got canceled and oh. we took like two days, you know, two days off and then came back and finished it. Right, right. Horrible. It did not work out for us. Okay? <laughs> but Longo has gone on to be this incredibly steady ball player. You see how now he's a slightly, a little bit more open than he was before. But then you see that nice and easy glide to load locks his hand ready to go and then he fires the barrel. I think his timing is locked in right now. And this is what I'm talking about. Look how he rocks back first and you see how he does that with his wrist, mm -hmm. cocking his wrist ready to fire. Watch this. Boom. Now he goes. Blackada. That's what happens when that is clicking at the right time. He's going to produce those type those types of exit velocities that we saw, you know, earlier you were talking about and then right here. This is another angle. Man, he hits against that firm front side. It looks so easy. It looks like he's done it forever since he just came out of the womb. This is the type of player that he is, but let me tell you that he had that from day one, Ed, and it was so impressive mm -hmm. to the point where I'm like, okay, sir, you know, what do I do? Why don't you teach me how to get around the thing? <laughs> That's the way it felt from the get-go. Well, it's interesting because his exit velocity is four and a half miles an hour higher this season than his average, so that's pretty huge, and maybe this is why. Susan Slusser, the Giants beat writer, is saying inadvertently reversed this earlier, but Longoria has gone down from 33 and a half and bat to 33 and dropped from 31 and a half ounces to 31. So the smaller bat is making a difference for him. It just feels really good. Is that a product Maybe of age sometimes. It's it, bat speed goes down a little bit, so make it a lighter bat. I get around the ball quicker. What's that about? All he cares about is hitting the barrel, you know, hitting the baseball with the barrel of the bat. So mm. the smaller bat gives him a lot more control, and he just found out, like, wait a second, I'm not losing S velocity. Right. So the more times I'm able to make good contact, then I'm going to be in good shape. And it has precisely produce great contact so why go back so it makes perfect sense to me mm. he used to you know go to 33 and a half bat uh, inch bat yeah what's a smaller bat when when I met him I'm like wow you used a smaller bat. I used I used a 34 inch bat yeah and he, I actually started experimenting with a smaller bat because of him and sure enough you make better contact you got more control of the head of the bat so that's great. It's just he's, he's just, continuing to think this game out. It's did awesome. you adjust much with the, with the weight of the bat when you were playing? Did you go lower, I meaning a lighter bat as you got older or no? Well, the lowest I went was 33 inches, and that is a huge jump. The, he is right now at 33 inches. But yeah. I swung a 33-inch bat, bat at times. You know, in 2007, I hit 46 home runs, my best year by far. Mm -hmm. I, the, a lot of those were hit with a 33-inch bat. Why? It doesn't matter. We, we're strong. As long yeah. as we're on time, we get a good swing, and we get the you know fat part of the bat on the baseball, good things will happen. Yeah, you just need to barrel them up. That makes sense. Rafael Devers is a guy also with the Boston Red Sox. And going into the year, Carlos, I said, you know what? Something about Alex Cora, the manager there, Alex and Devers on the same page. I know he's going to bounce back, and he is bouncing back. What are you seeing from Devers? That's another guy when he first came up. You know, I heard so many great, great things of, of him. Mm -hmm. And here he comes early in his career. 
He's in the big stage, and who can forget this huge <laughs> moment? And I'm going to put Joe McFly on the right because this was awesome against Chapman, 2017. Placata! 101 miles per hour. Yes, McFly, sorry. <laughs> you were talking so much trash, and you just got your mouth shut. Make like a tree and get out of here. Yes, just walk out, and that's all right. Look. This kid is so good at just getting the barrel to the baseball. And those inside pitches, because he stands open, mm -hmm. and he also strides open, which is stepping into the bucket, which you've been told, ah, that's wrong, don't do that. Well, it works for Devers. From right there, where his hands are at, to the baseball, it's a very short path. Yeah. So you would think, maybe he wouldn't hit for so much power when he pulls the baseball, but he still does. But where it really, really helps him is that because he's open, and because he then strides open, he creates really good angles and he's able to let the ball travel really deep mm. into the zone. Watch how deep in the zone he makes contact. This is off his back knee. That's almost past the plate. And he's still doing damage back there. But check this out. Fenway Park. This is precisely what you want to do. You know how many hits there are off that wall? You don't even have to crush the baseball. All you have to do is touch it. As long as you get decent enough wood, mm -hmm. you can get it over to, you know, left, left, left field wall right there off the monster, and you get it yourself ahead, you get yourself some RBIs, you get yourself some doubles. This park is perfect for him. Yeah, and to your point, he led the league in doubles a few years ago, so Fenway Park is perfect for him. 98% right now barrel percentage. To your point, as long as you barrel it up, you're good. A percentile, excuse me, that's pretty crazy. He's that high a percentage right now. Yeah, he's really good. I mean, Aaron, when, 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 you, when you used to play Pepper in the backyard, <laughs> yeah. Right? You could, you could have stood, stood like this, right, if I'm facing the pitcher. Mm -hmm. You stand like this. And boy, for me, yeah. I don't know if it was for you, but sure. for me, it was, it was difficult sometimes, you yeah. know, to kind of like square the ball up. As soon as I opened up slightly, <laughs> I became the best pepper player in the world. <laughs> All right? So there's something to this. Yeah. And I, I understand angles, and it certainly has pretty much come to fruition for him. You mm -hmm. know, it's, he's the evidence of the fact that, hey, stepping in the bucket, as long as you keep your shoulders square, yeah. you'll be just fine. 46 home runs back in 07. Give me one home run swing, one more plaque at right. that, and I probably should get out of here. I might break this, this suit because <laughs> it's a little bit too tight. Give it a big rip. Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's the way we walk out. out of here. He's out. Seriously, he's leaving the building.